right. Victor Wembenyama, the number one dra overall draft pick in the 2023 NBA draft. Victor Wembenyama is a phenomenon. He's allegedly the greatest prospect since LeBron James. I happen to agree with that assessment. But he's got a long way to go. But here is one of his first games where he had a double-double. 21 points, 12 rebounds against the San Antonio Spurs. And we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about the good things he brings. We're going to talk about some of the opportunities he has to improve. And is he for real? And yeah, this guy is for real. So here we have Victor Wembanyama. Let me get our pen set up here so we we can view what we need to view and all of that. There we go. He is right here. That's Victor Wembanyama. So he's on the low block, as you can see. You have, yeah, I'm getting used to this. So that you can see you have one defender there. You have another defender right there. So potential double team. This is part of the growth process and maturation for, for Victor. You can see that he is eyeing up this guy to see if he's gonna double team. Because if he double teams, he's gonna make the right read. That's something he doesn't typically do, and that was something that I noted he needed to work on. He needed to have more patience and poise in the post. Um, let's just play this, and then we'll break it down. He's being guarded by Alfred Shengun. Wow. He sees uh, that the defender right here is drifting away so that he can then make his move. So if you take a look here, Victor, he's facing up. Now he kind of <laughs> loses track of everything on the court by burying his head in Shangu's chest. But I like what he's trying to do. He's trying to give him a little ball fake and go if he can. So he does a little rip through. Now he gets to the back down game. If you, he's got nice position here. He's pretty deep here in the lane. He's on the low block. He's right here in the low block. So he's got good deep position. Back to the basket. Gives you a little dream shake there. A little fake drop step. Comes back, but look at the picture perfect form shoots right over the top and this is what's going to make him elite when he realizes he can just turn and shoot over the top of everybody in the league he's going to be completely unstoppable even on those pin downs at the elbow once he realizes that he's going to be unstoppable beautiful beautiful footwork beautiful touch and extension on that shot <laughs> and that's just him being a freak athlete going up over the top and just jumping over his own teammate <laughs> that's funny all right well now this is what's going to make him absolutely special beyond words for anything we've ever seen for his size because he's seven foot three and he's dribbling the ball off a kick ahead pass at half court <laughs> like he's a guard i mean this is very ill-advised but when you're seven foot three i mean what what are you supposed to do i mean nobody's gonna contest him Nobody's gonna contest that shot. So here's here's what I mean, right? Jabari Parker, who's right here. I mean, he's like seven. He's like six eight, six nine. 
Chang Goon's, you know, like 6'10, 6 6'11. 6 he's 7 foot 3. And he's like cupping the ball like a running back. He's going to bring it over his head. This guy, he can't contest it. This, you know, guard from the corner, he can't contest it either. The only person on the court that can contest this shot is Shang Goon. And Shang Goon's not very athletic, so he's still probably not even going to really contest it. He's just an absolute freak coming from half court. Being able to do this. The body control. To square his shoulders and have that soft touch. Absolutely insane. Again, this is just Victor Wembenyama being bigger than everybody. He runs the floor hard. He does. For, for being a seven footer, he's he's fast too. Like he's outrunning Shengun here. But who's gonna contest this? Jeff Green, 6'8. Right? Fred Van Fleet? No. There's nobody on the floor gonna contest these rim runs. Nice reverse jam, man. He's just. He's a freak athlete, man. He's, he's, he's just a freak of nature. Dylan Brooks? Dylan Brooks gonna contest that? I don't think so. All right, now this is what I really wanna see. Let's get some more into the nitty gritty. We got Victor Wembenyama versus Jabari Smith in that mid post area. I'm gonna let it run through and then we're gonna talk about it. <laughs> talk about it. So Victor fakes him up or faces him up. What he was looking for, if you noticed, he was looking to make sure Van Fleet wasn't going to cheat and dig. But once he realized he wasn't going to cheat and dig, he starts going to work on him. He feels Jabari, because Jabari's given up a lot of size. All this pressure from Jabari going to his outside shoulder. But once he feels that pressure, he's agile enough at 7'3 to just spin back inside. <clears throat> and then to have the length to finish on the other side of the rim with a right hand rim rocker. It's outstanding footwork for 7-3 big guy. Beautiful, beautiful. Again, you can just see how Jabari Smith, given that outside leverage away, and Weminyama just spinning to counter it. 20 years old, man. That's great, great work in the post. He's beat on this play, right? So, like, if you take a look at this, you can see that Shangun has a position. Shangun needs to just get his shoulder, you would think, into Victor Weminyama's chest. He's got an easy angle to lay this thing up off the glass. But again, at 7-3, that length, unreal. Unreal. That wingspan, man. That was a wingspan block. Wingspan. Again, get that dunk attempt out of here. Get that layup attempt out of here. Let's look at that. Pause it right here. Jabari Smith coming with bad intentions. Talk that thing back for the dunk. But again, I don't know what you're going to do against that wingspan, man. Met him at the summit. All ball. Nothing you can do about it. Get that weak stuff out of here. And then he gets back into the play. He doesn't give up. This is what I like to see because... In EuroLeague, a lot, you would see the first guy get blocked and then Victor just stand around. This was a really nice growth moment. You know Popovich is in his ear in practice. Not just the first effort to be great, but we need the second and the third effort. You know you're hearing that from Popovich every practice. 
And here he goes with that second effort, blocking the follow-up. Even though this is a bucket, I like him being aggressive, I really do. But, remember, he's 7'3", man, and he shoots the ball from the free throw line extended like it's a layup. I would love for him to just catch, turn, and face, and just shoot right over the top. But I like this aggressive attitude. He does this in the fourth quarter. Usually with Victor Wembanyama, he is lackadaisical, not focused in the first half. But in the fourth quarter, he locks in like a veteran. Like he's been in the league for 20 years. And he gets aggressive and he uses all the tools at his disposal because he's a competitor and he wants to win. We're going to run this through. Nice little shimmy shake. Takes the baseline. Scores right over the top. You're gonna. It's going to be a theme. No matter if it's a good move or a bad move, he's going to be able to score over the top on most players in the NBA. The sooner he realizes that, the better, because he's going to start to be able to take these shots with a higher degree of confidence from the outside and the inside. And he, his efficiency numbers are just going to go through the roof. Same with his overall production. Um... 21 and 12 is going to be the norm for this guy. There's no way he doesn't average a double-double if he stays healthy in, in his first year. I, I can't see him averaging less than 20 and 10 by the end of the year if he stays healthy. Because he's going to realize that he can shoot over the top of anybody. And once he realizes that, and he stops playing around with the ball on the perimeter, because that's another thing about Victor, he gets caught and locked into dribbling on the perimeter like he's a guard and that's where a lot of his turnovers happen uh, but if he can just stick to his spots play within the offense just turn and shoot over everyone like he normally does sky's the limit for this guy um, offensively and defensively because he can move his feet well as you saw he can block shots give those multiple efforts popovich has a future all nba player on his hands and victor Wembanyama. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you think Victor is living up to the hype? Do you think he was worth all the hype? Or do you think another rookie is going to be there competing with him for rookie of the year? Um, I'll tell you a rookie that I didn't think was going to be able to compete is currently competing with him for rookie of the year. And that's for a different video. Let me know again what you think in the comments down below. I appreciate you. Take care. Stay safe. See you next time.